The haunted OBS. The real scary part. Hard drive filled up that it's recording on. I had to delete something. Okay, well. Yeah, we could just leave on this and we'll still get a lot of experience. Group photo! Yay! Does it even work like that? Me and my friends. Oh, actually, <laughs> yeah, Mono could do it. I know, yeah, and uh, in desktop, it's, you can't take a selfie. I could take your camera and do it. This is the first time in my life I've ever done this. Oh, yeah, it works uh, in VR. There we go. <laughs> funny because i don't see myself or you won't see yourself in there because oh that's so funny <laughs> we're all ghosts when it comes down to it all right thank none of us were attacks. alive the whole time in a yeah so danger. it's uh yep exactly yeah imagine if the you're looking in the book and the group photo says ghost portrait or whatever yes. and it's just that? the three of us in the van Beast. Yeah, that was the motion sensor going off. Oh my god. Oh yeah, look, he's right. He's there, setting it off. And you can see activity over there is, is spiking, so... That's the green it thing, makes the power. Sense. Yeah, the circuit breaker. So I got pictures of fingerprints, fingerprints. Got interaction with the can thrown on the ground. More finger... We're gonna make a ton of money off of this. Alright, is everybody good? I'm good. Thanks, so. All right. No dead body photos. <laughs> Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Nice, dude. Sweet. Oh, wow. We got a lot of jobs now. Small house. Bigger house, high school. Um, you could try one of the bigger ones now if you want. Small farmhouse and just like another smaller house. Uh, whatever, I don't mind. Yeah, we could try it. You want to do it? Sure. Brown yeah, it's your Stone choice. Brown Town. <laughs> Brown Town. I remember that prank call. <laughs> Real low, Tony. <laughs> uh, need here. I hope I'm not being too bossy, telling people nope. what to do. Uh, you're good because I don't really know what I'm doing, so. I know sometimes I'll watch streams of people play this and there's just someone that's like controlling the whole game just like no it's easier to do this no you stop doing that it's faster it's like uh eh. so I, I don't want to be that guy yeah I don't really know what I'm doing yet anyway so it's all good and you aren't doing that anyway so <laughs> okay uh actually one last thing see if we're gonna be in the high school which is a huge place I think we should have multiple EMFs because EMF and thermometer are like the two best ways to detect right away. So I'll buy a second EMF and a second thermometer so then we have some redundancy. Uh, Uh, Jeff, you should bring your own flashlight, too. Yeah, I just bought a bigger one. Jeez, and I only have $2,600. I can't, can't afford... <laughs> can't afford a $40 thermometer. Alright, well, I'm ready. Now, well, I'm going in. Yeah, I like to look around a little bit. I don't really know what the setup of the buildings even are yet or anything like that. I'm assuming that's why this one takes longer to load because it's like probably a little bit bigger. That's all good, dude. Thanks. So we're going to just play the three of us for now.
doesn't even have the objectives yet? Or does it not do that until everyone loads in? Yeah, you gotta wait for everybody to load in. Uh, I didn't realize that. Wow, that takes a while for Mono, because that must be a huge map. Yeah, it, it looks pretty big. I mean, Jeez. it took me longer than usual. Oh, fuck, you're right, that's huge. There it is. We've arrived. Check the equipment and yeah, get high school and asylum took a long time to load, to for me anyway. <clears throat> the looks like this is going to be a tough one. We've had reports of violence, and it Paul looks like Smith. they left in a hurry. Dirty water. Ghost event. Take a picture. Paul Smith. P.S. Yeah, it's not too bad. Talks to everyone, so... Let's use both thermometers. In both EMFs. So that way we can cover more ground at once. I have one of the EMF things. Wait, right, what'd you say? EMF. An EMF and a what? Uh, we should be using both thermometers and both EMF detectors. That way we can kind of sp split up Scoob and look around I've left it on the desk for you. Uh, quicker. Yeah, we won't need the motion sensor. I mean, some people who are really hardcore they buy tons of, like for big maps like this, they buy sound sensors and motion sensors and they just like cover every hallway and major rooms. Like sound sensors can detect like a whole quadrant of the school. So you'll see it flash and then up here it tells you each of the rooms or the sensors are in and if the strength goes above like 0.7 it means that it's some kind of ghost related activity. Because players will make it fluctuate, but then it'll go like way up to the top and it means it's a ghost. But we don't have any of those, so that's not going to show anything. Uh. Alright, well. Let's see what we can find. Wow, what? This looks sick. This one looks so cool. It's like Silent Hill. It does look like it a little bit. Is this based on the, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Kindergarten Cop? Yep. What was the name? We're in it now. Oh, uh, Patrick so, Smith or something like that, right? I think it was Paul Smith. Let me go check real quick. Pretty sure it was Patrick. Yeah, look, the bus crashed oh. into the truck. How did they park it there like that? Paul Smith. Yeah, Paul Smith. Uh, look at the map real quick, Jeff. Uh, where is the circuit breaker? It's gonna be... I don't see it. Uh, hit the button on the left and it will go to the second floor. Oh. Uh, is that the basement or is this the top floor that I'm looking at? This is on the right it's side. only one floor. Oh, okay. Weird. It's on the right side. Like the corner of the school on the right side? No, in the middle area. Behind the stairs, kind of. Oh, okay. It's Weird. Two floors. Never I don't know how to explain it. Is it two floors? Looks like it's on another floor, then. Because you hit that button. I, I thought I hit the button, and I thought it didn't work, but then I saw you hit the button on your stream, and I see now it's two floors. So, the breaker's on the second floor. Wing. I wish you could run a little bit faster in this game. Yeah, I think it's over here, right? Oh, door just opened. Dave, was that you or Jeff that opened the door? Nah, it was like way ahead of me. Right here. This door okay. opened. Right here. I hear some other 
noises upstairs. Who was it? So what's Paul your... Smith. Oh, you're getting an EMF? Yep, yeah, EMF two. Oh yeah, we got handprint already. I hear. I just heard a sound too. Paul Smith. Well, this is gonna make it really easy. So it's the ghost is somewhere in this area. Uh, the handprint was on the oh, yeah, outer I was about tea. side of the door, so it could be in the hallway. Oops. Paul Smith. Uh, this is a good joke up here on the wall. Uh, spirit? Oh, like, high school spirit? Nice. Like a ghost! What about <laughs> Smokey? Like, is this it's Tang a, Smokey? Yeah. Tibbets. We're pretty normal. I saw a couple sevens. Six Celsius. That's not too bad. I heard the loud footstep, which usually means he's still somewhere in this area. But yeah, the handprint is on the outside of the door, so I think that means that it just was walking down the hall and touched it. Paul Smith. Paul Smith, did you come in here? I'll go Temps grab the normal. video camera. Paul Smith, are you over here? Paul Smith, are you smoking underneath the stairwell again, Paul Smith? Paul Smith, oh, they're definitely the upstairs. Paul I hear something like moving around up there. So what, what are our objectives again? Oh, I got a little cold. I got to like five degrees Celsius for um, a second. Yeah, we have to like turn the water on. We're not oh, right. Dirty sink. sink. We're trying to get well, actually, leave the water off. The ghost has to turn it on to make it dirty. If you turn it on, it, it doesn't allow that one to be dirty. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's... The FAQ on the Discord points it out. It's a weird thing that people usually don't un uh, don't understand. I wish you would have to turn it on because that would make it a little more interesting. Though. Paul Smith. Oh, where did Dave go? There he's. Yeah, the temps have been pretty normal. I haven't seen anything super cold yet. All right. What's even the deal with this school? Like, what happens? Huh? Like, what happened to the high school? Why is it all, like, closed and shit? I don't know. Like, why do they even care that this place is haunted? Well, if your loved one died in high school. Maybe you'd want some people to go uh, help you get some closure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, send the ghost hunters so they can, like, discover that the ghost is there, come back and say, yep, that's a ghost. That'll be $500. Yeah, that'll be $5. $10. One of us died, so we could use an extra 20 <laughs> Is the dirty water only ever in a sink? Uh, I found a bone. Should I take a picture of it? Yeah, it's always a sink. And the bathroom has a lot of them. And there's like a science lab that has like six or <laughs> something. I have found the breaker. Paul Smith, right? 
Okay, I set up the video camera. I have the ghost writing book in the hallway where we got the fingerprint. But he could be somewhere else since the handprint was on the outside of the door. Yeah, I just heard a sound too. There's like some creaking over there. You're breaking up, Mono. Chat. Yeah, my I... game's lagging a ton, so I'm gonna be, be nice to each other. making the weird noises. Going? It's chill. Maybe if we make enough money off of ghost hunting, I can buy a new computer. Copy that. I think it's, I think they're not up here. Came back in the van. Uh, activity has been zero for the last minute. Yeah, we've been wandering around upstairs. I'm gonna come back down. All right, I don't know which one of you is like being oh, annoying, man. but I'm gonna time out both of you. No, Just I can't remember. Chill Correct. Out. You guys are gonna okay. Fuck. We're gonna play a fucking video game, man. Relax. We haven't had like any acknowledgement from him at all, really, other than like the doors opening, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, other I than just the saw a ghost orb on the camera that I put outside the room where you guys are, so we got that. What maps are in this game? Like these are all the ones that were with the game when it came out, right? It's yeah. Awesome, guys. Poltergeist. Those two evidences only have poltergeist. Uh, what was the other evidence? We don't have it, but just fingerprints and ghost orbs only gets you poltergeist. Oh, true. I haven't seen anything being, like, thrown around at all, really. But I guess door's opening. So it should talk on a spirit box, but it's not like we get points for using that, right? Uh, no. So, yeah, I guess if we only know that it's Poltergeist, you could just put Spirit Box there. What are the other objectives? We're looking for Dirty Water and what else? Dirty Water and Photo of the Ghost. Okay, I'm gonna come back and get a camera. The Dirty Water could be in any sink in the entire fucking school. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's the one house, the small, like, one uh, story house, the two story house, right? And then the two size farmhouses, and then what? Wait, School and a hospital? Oh. Uh, I have one of the cameras. Do you want to take it? Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Because I think when you died, you didn't rebuy. Yeah, I have no idea camera, why it has so... power. Uh, I think, Jeff, do you have the second camera? There were two. I do. Uh, here, I'll drop it here. Oh! I keep forgetting that right click is not to drop. Yeah. Oh, I've seen lots of ghost orbs here. So the ghost must still be kind of near where we first saw that handprint. So really just want to try to get more photo evidence and provoke it enough to show up. Should we use a motion sensor? Um, if you want to. It I'm won't give us really extra matters. points, but it... Take it with us. I'll bring the spirit box just for funsies. Yeah, lighthouse would be sick. That would be good. Or a prison would be pretty cool too, I guess. I think something outdoors would be cool. You know what I mean? There's so much potential for this game. There's so much cool stuff they could do, especially for maps, locations. Are you here? It's like endless. Show yourself. Possibilities are endless. Are you here? A zoo? That would be pretty cool. Tell you what, Joe Exotic's uh, oh, there zoo. There is. 
<gasps> I see him. Uh, he's he's see in the, the locker room. The he's got an axe. I had the camera. I gave it up. You got him. You got him. I think I got him. Yeah, you definitely got him. All right. I couldn't see him at all, but yeah, I got a picture of a photo. I think, uh, I think it was just in it. ghost form. Yeah. Paul so Smith. I should be able. Whoops. What kind of name for this? For a mascot is the like the wind knight. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is a know. wind knight? Is that like some Final Fantasy shit? What the hell? <laughs> uh, hoping they get EMF four somewhere so I can figure out exactly where he was standing. Sounds like a Kirby anime. Oh, Smith. Are you here? Got your photo, Paul Smith. How old oh, are you? Uh, I'm thinking. How? Do you, you have room for a camera? Uh, oh, technically, yeah. but uh, here I'll set the radio down. Oh, there's another one. Here. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. Take the camera. I'm gonna go look for some dirty water. Sound fun. Yeah, what could it, we'll need to it get be a like picture a of the dirty one. Yeah, it's like, it'll uh, cl uh, clog up a sink, and then it will just fill with brown water. I like to think of it as taking dirty pics. Uh, oh, what did he say? Spirit box, he just said old. Which apparently in a later version, oops, in a later version they're gonna make it not respond to the age question so often because we'll, we'll keep hearing like old, 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 like in a lot of games that you play. Yeah, I heard that. E. Are you near? Make a sound. Yeah, adult, adult. Flash the lights. Adult swim. Close a door. Or, or. Is someone here? Oh, missed this one. Got a oh, fingerprint no on the light wow. switch. Good eye. Good eye, Mana. Do you happen to know if the science lab is upstairs? I think it is. Uh, I heard nope. say adult. Yeah. Well, we have the picture of the ghost. I guess we could just w uh, wander around and try to get the dirty water picture. Love that dirty. Best way to look for dirty water is just to listen until you hear a faucet turn on by itself. Spooky a locker sitting by itself under the stairs. I haven't I haven't heard any water really. Dirty water in the school is very difficult. It's a tough it seems like dirty water in general, like only like a few times have I seen it show up. Yeah, it's really rare. It's just a luck based thing. Seems like a lot of stuff in this game is kind of like that. The way someone moves with their playing in VR is so weird. This game is so funny. Yeah, I've seen it in the what sink of the house a few times. Drink some rusty Silent Hill water. Oh, I can't turn it on. Delicious. A creepy noise just happened outside. Uh oh. We got an attack imminent, I think. We got a flash like light. It. In the 
fuck out of here. Dave, is your light flashing? Yes, it is. Where are you? Guessing radios aren't working right now because I think activity is at 10. Really? That can happen? Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, radios cut out when the ghost is hunting. What? Is everyone alive? Yeah. Must have been hunting below us, so it uh, didn't do anything. Pretty embarrassing for the ghost, trying to be scary and kill us. He's like, oops, wrong floor. I found the science lab. Oh, I forgot I had the motion sensor. Dirty water in the science lab. See someone in chat's asking what difficulty we're at. Uh, I think this is amateur. Yeah, definitely. Can you put it on this wall? We'll go like all the way to the other side. Well, if we don't get dirty water in the next like minute or two, we could probably just go. Or does it get blocked by the lockers? Copy that. I wonder. Ooh, the main doors are shut. The front doors are shut now. Yeah, the ghost was probably trying to trap us in when it was hunting earlier. I love the shading of the bus just like completely changes. I'm just checking out the cameras. Nothing crazy. Oh, I saw an orb. Lights just went out. I just saw an orb. Another one. Good, good. Are these cameras all set up or did you guys set all these up? Uh, we only set up one of them. All the rest are just the schools. Jeez. A lot. Yeah. Oh, I just saw. I don't know. I think I saw somebody walking. I can't tell if it was a ghost or not. Yeah, I thought that you had to set up all the cameras yourself. I thought that the other one only gave you the front camera. Even just seeing someone walking is kind of spooky. Jeff, can you hear me right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh -oh. Dave, your, your sanity's dropping, man. Your sanity's going down, man. Oh no, they're stuck at the very front. I'm gonna try to open the door for him. Try to live! You guys stuck? Open the door! Right. Let's go, let's go! What the fuck happened? <laughs> the ghost tried locking us in. It was heading our way, but it must have given up. Jesus fuck you, Paul Christ. Smith. You'll never pass the seventh grade. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Dave can't hear you, Jeff, when you are talking on the radio for some reason. What? So that's weird. I think he'll just like rejoin, or he'll rejoin when we finish this. So what did we hit? Wait, like, talk right now. Can you hear V on V? Can you hear me? Is he talking? Yeah. Weird. You can't hear me. Oh, there. Now I hear you. What the fuck? wonder why. But try to do the radio again. Radio. Radio, radio. Yeah, I hear it click on, but I don't hear you. That's 
broken. So it's I'll, I'll rejoin the game once we're uh, back. So yeah, we all got poltergeist. All right. So does it matter sure if you pick out the good. evidence? Should you still pick out all the evidence all right. and stuff? Uh, I've never actually tested it. I always do it just to be safe. Like even if we know what the ghost is, I put all the other pieces of evidence. So what were they? Ghost orb? Uh, fingerprints, ghost orb, spirit box. So fingerprints and spirit box. Awesome. Anyway, I'm all seven, you guys are. You got cool. everything, Dave? Cool. I'm all set. If you use radio when you're close, it'll just like auto to normal talk. That makes sense. Welcome back. I've Welcome got back. some jobs ready for you. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I thought the school was going to be way more of a pain in the ass, but I guess it could probably be potentially more complicated. Welcome back. Got another job for you. How did I lose those guys? Yep. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me see what they want. Should we use the same code again? Is that the same code? It's saying game closed. Uh, okay. You want to set up another lobby mono and just put the code in the uh, in the Discord for us? Stuck on loading? Really? Is it fucking up for you? Just let me know when you paste it in there. Whoa, that's fucking loud. Also, if you guys are interested... In like world of horror streams or anything like that check out the youtube channel there's a bunch of good playlists of spooky games archived there is there a problem with game radio where it bugs out if you tap out of the game when you're loading or something maybe i have no fucking clue about the known bugs i'm just waiting mono setting up another uh lobby Dave's having problems. He's just going to go to bed now. Thanks for playing, Dave. We'll probably only play a little while longer anyways. I am also kind of tired, actually. <clears throat> this is the second stream of the day for me, too, so. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Dave. You guys can go check out Dave's stream, too, if you'd like. Just Dave Cap. Um... There we go. Okay. Zero or two. All right, there we go. Yo. Hello. All right, taking a couple things. Yeah, normally high school doesn't go that quickly because it's kind of a weird hit or miss thing. Like if you find the room right away, it's easy. But most of the time you just wander around for like 15 minutes trying to even find the room. Yeah, it seems like it. Let's see if I can get a higher difficulty. What about the head mounted camera? Is that any good? Uh, it can be, but it's not really worth it if it's just two of us. Yeah. Some of the more hardcore players, yeah, everyone Dave. will have head-mounted cameras, so then they can check for ghost orbs all the time and not have to set anything up. Makes sense. 
Makes sense. Yeah, you can pick a job whenever you want. What is the point of these, like... Like, what is this? Isn't this for x-rays? <laughs> I guess so. Maybe these are ghost fingerprints. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. I mean, I, I could swear I've seen these photos in other games and stuff before. But yeah, I live sure. somewhat near a house that looks like exactly like this. And it's in a s spooky wooded area too. Yeah, I've seen a few of those. Uh, the only ones that are uh, non-asylum <laughs> ones are amateur. But uh, it'll go pretty quick. I'll just do the amateur street house. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, photo camera, lighter, crucifix, smudge stick. Mm. I'll try bringing my parabolic microphone, even though I don't think we'll need it. It's just kind of fun to try to use. It's a big, goofy looking satellite dish looking thing. Let's do it. Oh yeah, can you like send those flying? Yeah. Oops. I don't know, some people can do it to an extreme where it sends it across like the whole map. But you can practice uh, doing juggling maneuvers. Not actually juggling, but... In Job Simulator, I was able to actually juggle. That was fun. Alright, so... Yeah, ready up. Alright, well set. It's mostly because in Job Simulator, it's really physics intensive. So physics are being calculated even when stuff is not moving at all. So it's way easier to do things like juggle. Whereas in this game, physics stop calculating when something isn't moving. So it's more optimized, but it's a lot harder to do like complex interactions. Yeah, it makes sense. It'd be cool if like you could change the interior of the truck in some way as you got like more leveled up in the game, like the truck got better or something like that. That'd be neat. What if Mono is the ghost? It's, it's a possibility. All right, we're here. Kenneth Remove Martin. The equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. Hey. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. New intel. Reports of light switching. Oh. Office, but be careful out there. Oh yeah, that thing is huge. The fuck? You can also make it. Can make punch in it too, or some like dipping sauce for later. Oh wait. Here we go. Let's go like this. Yeah, there you go. That looks delicious. <laughs> EMF reader. Ghost event. Motion sensor. I think I brought one. Yeah. All right. Kenneth Martin. Did I? Everyone. I think I forgot to bring an EMF. The fuck. I thought I bought one. Oh, I have one on me. Oh, you can keep it. It's all good. Do you, want okay. you hold on to it? Because you can use it all at the same time. Oh, I don't have enough hands here. Do we need uh, evidence. Emotion sensor, EMF, and everything else should just come naturally. So you'll have to open the door because my hands are full. I don't know if I've been to this house. I think we have. So can you not this open a door very... when you have all that stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, when both of my hands have stuff in it, I can't grab doors. Uh, so I usually have to drop something on the floor. We could just sit here and watch spooky movies. Just turn the TV on, there we go. 
sit down on my real life couch. All right. Let's watch, uh, what's it called? Bad Ben, part 62. Zach Bagan is going to uh, Joe Exotic's like zoo on Halloween That's to go right. like ghost hunting. Oh, man. What else do it's I Probably going to make them millions of dollars. It's like the crossover that everyone wanted, I guess. really glitchy for VR users to try to grab keys like this one. Where are you? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Are you able to get that key easier? Yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah, what if he gets attacked okay. by like a ghost tiger? Has that ever happened before? Oh god, yeah. You don't hear about ghosts of animals all that often. There was a whole I think show. that would be more terrifying. There was a whole show about ghost animals. I forget what the fuck it was called. Okay. Um, since this is a pretty easy one, I'm just gonna try seeing how much info I can get from the parabolic mic. Usually, you can use this to predict when an event is gonna happen before it happens. Oh, uh, we could light these oh, candles. Oh, like right too. now. Yeah, I heard something. Something Here. should happen shortly. The ghost moved the stairs. Well, in theory. Can't tell if it's upstairs or down. It'd be oh, great if this little right tricycle like started just like pedaling. That would be incredible. Yeah, there's a lot more they could do with all this. Uh, I heard something. Yeah, that was the uh, motion sensor going off. I think because we walked in front of it. There's another key. You pick this one up. All right. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, there. This kind of reminds me of the Unity HQ house is set up in this room. It it's does. Just bed, I think. I I'm pretty sure. They made the houses in this game with pieces of that. Yeah, because the been. thing with the HQ residential house that we see in all the horror games, it's supposed to be just an example of what you can build, not straight up just use this house in your game. Yeah, but everyone just does that. So this dev, yeah, so this dev actually did what you're supposed to and took the pieces and built a new house. The power is Ooh. out. Yep, ghost just opened the door. As soon as I turned this power on in this room, the power went out. The light, rather. Oh, we got... We got, uh, fingerprints, and it looks like EMF's going off over here. Two. Yeah, I'm sure there's so, some fucking ghost in hunters this hallway. that double as thieves. Oh, here's another one. This ghost Wait. needs to wash their hands. It's got filthy... Ecto prints all over the place. Oh, dude, the fucking Ouija board is just coming out of the closet in here. Oh, nice. Ouija board's fun. Should it's bring just, it like, out here. sticking out, though. Look at this. It's weird. Uh, it's a second. Oh, my God. I've never seen it like that. I'm trying to grab this. There we go. Where is it? Right here. Oh, <laughs> tried shoving it into the closet. Did you get a picture of it already? Because it counts yeah, as evidence. It, but I didn't turn it on yet. All right. Should I take another one of it? No, one should be enough. Um, well, we know the ghost is out in this hallway. I can bring it over here. Are you here? 
Where are you? Are you friendly? Uh oh. Just threw uh -oh. something. Did you see what they threw? Looks like the candles are moved. Well, I. I don't know. I oh, didn't this see one's anything. really active. Because if you see something get moved, you can get a picture of it. Yeah, uh, this has been on the ground the whole time, this picture. Okay. Sir, your plasma screen is having some issues Are with ectoplasma. We're going to need to take it house. back to the lab with us. How did you die? Are you nearby? Do you want us to leave? Where are you? Usually they'll respond pretty quick if they're going to on the uh, Waluigi tablet. Oh, just open the door. I haven't heard anything. I know, I guess I'm, I, my ears are really attuned to unusual sounds. I, it can pretty quickly identify. How do you address the Ouija uh, board? Um, when you turn it on like that, when it lights up, that means it's listening. And then you just uh, ask questions like you would normally. Is what happened to you illegal? <laughs> Tell us your secrets. Make a sound. I'm just gonna grab some stuff out of the truck. Ten four. If you see activity get really high on that thing in the truck, let me know. Sanity's like 70, 67. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah, do you want it? Yeah, because this ghost is moving around a lot, so we could use that. Are you on the second floor? Yeah, so... Oh, uh, here, I'll take it. some candles. The fucking hand is so good. Uh-oh. Oh, footprints. Oh, I don't have my camera. Oh, here it is. You got it? Not the footprints. Now I got them. Yeah. Alright. So the ghost is literally standing right there right now. Does not want to respond to us on that board. Um, let's see, what do we have so far? So, fingerprints for sure. Uh, I guess we need the journal and or the ghost writing book. We need that. Um, yeah, if you could grab the journal thing. Will do. All right, I'm getting it. Where do you want me to put the journal? Uh, up here where the 
assault was. Oh before. shit! I just saw him. Ooh. He came Did at me. That? Yeah, he came at me. Yeah, he came at me. I was holding G. I meant to hit B. He came right at me. He had an axe. I'm outside. I think I dropped my flashlight. Yeah, see he's right here. Oh, he just walked down the hallway. So we don't have much time. He's gonna start killing soon. So let's just hope he writes in this book. Oh, what was the name again? I don't even remember. Oh shit. Oh, the lights are blinking. They were. Lights were blinking. Um. No, what do we want to do here? Oh yeah, the name. Kenneth Martin. Why does that sound familiar? Old Kenny Martin. Mono, do you know that this lighthouse article over here is actually about the Ellie and Moore lighthouse incident? It's one of my favorite mysteries. Oh, based on a true story? Yeah, I really like that one. Was it a, like, murder-related situation, or what was it? It's the one where it's, like, in the 1910s, 1900s. And, uh, it's like in the very remote Scottish islands. There's a chain of islands out there. There's a bunch of them, obviously, but... And these three lighthouse keepers were on shift for, like, a week. And then when their, um... I don't know, their reinforcements? <laughs> who would come in, uh... But I don't know. Why can't I think of the word for that? Their replacements were coming to you know, do the next shift and no one was left on the island. You can't hear me? God damn it. No, I could hear you. Uh, yeah, the ghost was tracking, so radio cut out, but I, was, I could hear your local. It's okay, it wasn't really making sense. Well, anyways, three dudes disappeared from an island. They were lighthouse keepers and they don't... Whoa, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> And they don't know what happened to them. They never found their bodies or anything. So there, it was a whole group that disappeared? Yeah, three dudes. How long ago is this? Is this like 1800s or something? Or... Uh, it was like 1916 or something like that. 1910. Oh. Yeah, it's just there's so much creepy stuff surrounding lighthouses. That's really weird why it's like that. I guess when you're living far away from society living alone out by the sea there's a lot of potential weird stuff that could happen to you like well, mentally physically they're like literally on the edge of the world like all you could see is water all around you and you're on like a fucking rock right you know what i mean it's like i don't know it's kind of a creepy feeling dude even like new zealand kind of creeps me out like just slide right <laughs> off the crust of the earth into the ocean one of these days yeah this Someday, uh, Australia is just going to disappear. It's just going to fall right off the ocean, off the edge of the earth. Well, <laughs> there's actually, like, a giant uh, shelf waiting to collapse off of, like, Western Africa. Um, it's, like, the size of L.A. chilling on the side of Africa, and it's just about to break off, and it's going to cause, like, a huge tsunami when it does. Well, like an ice shelf or whatever, like glacier? No, like a giant piece of the continent. It's going to fall off. Oh. We could see those maps online that show, like, what the world would look like if the sea level rose even just, like, a foot. And it's, like, pretty significant. Yeah, did you ever see Deep Impact? Morgan Freeman's the president. I never saw it, but I have a pretty good idea what it's about. I think my dad took me to the movie theater to see it when I was a kid for some reason. But <laughs> there's, like, a, <laughs> there's, like, a comet about to hit the Earth. And everyone's like freaking out and they figure out like a way to like blow it up. Mm -hmm. but, then it, but then it all goes wrong. I got the hiccups. I got the ghost hiccups. Then it all goes wrong and the 
comet doesn't end up getting blown up and it just like lands in the ocean instead of like on land and it causes a huge mm. tidal wave and there's just like a really dumb scene at the very end of the movie where like they're trying to outrun the tidal wave like on a dirt bike like <laughs> I think everyone should see that at least once sounds very cheesy and then they build a new white house in like Wisconsin that's where like the fucking tsunami stopped or whatever like that's like the edge of the land or whatever the fucking dumb movie it was you know in well, competition with armageddon oh yeah so it's kind of nice about living in minnesota as i'm like right in the middle of north america so if anything's happening in the oceans i'm like as centralized as possible yeah so I can, you it's guys fun. will get wiped out first and i'll have a couple extra minutes to like post about it on twitter or something yeah, I guess that's one nice thing about living in the middle of the country is you don't have to worry about the tsunamis as much. If pretty sure, <laughs> right? Like, what kind of major world event would there need to be a tsunami big enough to affect Minnesota? Uh, uh well, we have really uh, not mountainous, but really hilly terrain. So if we get torrential rains, it will start flooding neighborhoods and stuff pretty quick. Wouldn't be from tsunamis, but if we had enough rain, like neighborhoods just get flooded really quick uh here and then tornadoes are a big threat tornado alley starts here so it's and then usually it'll just destroy everything in iowa and kansas dude my sanity is like going down is, oh never mind it's going back up yeah that's what i was looking at because there's a ghost the u-ray that I'm being like leached right now sanity. is he sucking my fucking life force away <laughs> i don't have a just lot remotely left, i guess i can't let that happen Thing is, though, is that the. Oh wait, no, is it the U Ray? Uh, yeah, U Ray is the sanity ghost, but it does not have fingerprints as an evidence, and fingerprints is our best uh, proof right now. So, I'm trying to figure out what it could be. So, revenant is a possibility, but we didn't get any writing or EMF five. Mono, someone asked why uh, your movement is so lifelike. Because I'm in the future. <laughs> it's virtual reality. He's in the game. He's but not actually can, a real person. But I can do crab walks and stuff, too. Also, this person's name, the real Fatalis. Every time I fucking see it now, all I can think of is Desert saying that shit when we're playing. It's really days. creepy is when someone really tall is in VR. And if I if I stand on my couch, see what it looks like. Don't fucking hurt yourself, man. Oh, I've on my first VR stream, I put a stool in the middle of my room and stood on top of it in order to reach something that was on a shelf in a uh, whatever that portal VR thing was, the robot repair. I'm safe. Uh, there's been accidents in VR already, right? Like people like. I know someone punched out like a TV or a monitor or something like that for sure. Oh yeah, someone died within the first like month. What? Uh, it was what? someone who they stepped. Okay, they, I I don't know if there's actual proof of this, but allegedly, someone stepped on a glass table and a shard of glass uh, caused them to bleed so heavily that they oh like bled God. out and died. <laughs> Is that this person's ghost, maybe? Dude, see, that should be a scenario could, could in this be. game. Someone died playing this game in VR, and we have to exercise their ghost. Right. Well, what's really creepy in VR, a lot of people forget about this feature. A lot of headsets have the ability to have a pass-through camera. So they're, like in my Vive, there's a camera in front, and it was meant to be a safety feature. It has extra filters to highlight the edges of furniture and stuff around your room. So it looks like some like CSI level of... Uh, like room examination enhance but anyway like I, I one of the first vr streams i did i turned on the pass-through camera and my stream could look around my room and the game kept thinking there was an outline of a person not a, necessarily a person but a <laughs> figure that was in my room and i was like taking my headset off and like looking what over the there like, there's no one there but it kept finding an outline of something in the room i mean in reality i'm pretty sure it was just my my lights for my green screen were messing with it but it was kind of freaky because like i'm blindfolded right now i can't see my room so well, if there's someone like a shadow in here person. 
Have you ever heard of the shadow people? C- could be, yeah. I've heard of the the shadow people. And they can possess you too. Like they'll make your life miserable. So you better be careful, Mana. Well, it'd be nice to have some company here. So if it takes a ghost possession to to have someone to talk to, that'd be nice. I don't think be talking to of, myself. I don't think that's the kind of attention you want, dude. <laughs> also, we I live with a lot of other people, but they're so quiet. Yeah, because the ghost is just active upstairs. Should we move it? So if you're, quick? yeah, your, it. San your sanity is really low, so you're probably oh, gonna fuck. get killed doing it. But, but fuck that, then I'm not doing do it. Then. No. Okay. You do it. You got eight. You got thirty-eight percent. I got. I got okay. Like nine. I got. So 10. what I have to do is check the book. All right. So what you can do is watch my camera feed. Switch it over to this camera. I can attach it to my belt, so now it's like a, a crotch cam. Uh, sick, dude. Uh, and then, oh, where else could I do? Um, I gotta check the book and put the motion sensor upstairs and potentially get a photo of the ghost. Okay, so I got a lot to do. I'll probably die. But uh, keep an eye out for Ghost Orb. That's actually a uh, like thing that the CIA does. Is like they have a camera they develop that like goes into a person's urethra, and they smuggle in the camera that way, and then they just pee it out. And like, it's kind of what this reminds me of. It's true. I read about it. Uh, it's beeping. Something's beeping. Yeah, that was me setting off the motion thing. Yeah, Mono is the beta tester for this, this project, apparently. Yeah, it's beeping. No, I'm pretty sure there's a practical use for it. Did you just die? Did, did Mono die? Uh-oh. I hear bad things happening. Ano? 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 Uh... I shouldn't have sent him back in, man. I'm gonna try to do this. Oh my god, it's a shoe. Hello? Oh, I don't think I did it right. Oh, there's another one set up right there. It doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, we got some ghost writing. Alright, I'm leaving. I could, like, hear something. He can't get you outside the front door, though. Yeah, Mono just got sucked into the house. That'd actually be sick if that could happen. Like, in Poltergeist, and you had to, like, go save him. Oh, you can hear me if I talk on the radio. Uh, Mono... I don't know what the hell's going on, man. We got ghost writings. We got, um... I think that's really it. I'm going with a Revenant. Just sounds like it would be it. Mono. The porch is dangerous. The ghost can't leave, but it's probably going to make an oopsie. I've got some ready for door. you. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, rest in peace. 
So what happened? You just went in and he fucking grabbed you? <laughs> Pretty much. Part of me is still left at that house. So only part of me <laughs> is back here in the lobby. And, uh... Yeah, so I got the motion sensor set up. And then put the camera... Then as soon as I set the camera down, I heard loud footsteps chasing after me. So then I ran downstairs, was trying to hide behind the couch, but it didn't work, obviously. He killed me before I could even get behind the couch. Oh, well. Such is life, I guess. Yeah, we can do another one if you want. No. All right. If you want. Let's see if I can do a professional... Uh... All right, here's a professional of, I think, the same map, so we can see the difference. Fuck. Which really the only difference should just be that Fuck. we have no setup time, so the From ghost downtown. is immediately aggressive Hell as it's yeah. going to be. Hey, Mono, I think this is actually how you're supposed to play this game. I think you've been doing it wrong. I think you're supposed to hit the basketball through the hoop. That's it. You know, that's the real core gameplay. You can actually, in Damn. VR, uh, just hold the ball up here and just repeatedly dunk it over and over again. <laughs> They're really trying to sell VR with this game, aren't they? Come on. Come on, man. One more and we'll go. Just one more. Jesus. Come on. Yeah, I lost a bunch of stuff when I died. So <laughs> I did it. All right, we can go. You know, okay. one for me, one for them. That's how you got to do it. All right, I'm all set when you are. From downtown. 45 dollars can get six pizzas I guess we've arrived All right Check the so and get set up before investigating. He's professional and so the ghost is active immediately so we could die oh. just from walking in the down. front door oh, no. possibly harmless but be careful out there so I won't go in with everything just in case the ghost is extra feisty I'll just go in with an EMF, and that's it. Well, a camera, too. So if I'm going to die immediately, at least I can get some cool pick. Fuck, I forgot to bring a bunch of stuff. Charles Wilson. So we got stage and crucifix. I think this is the same house as last time. Uh, I'll even bring the, uh, video camera. Okay. Let's do it. No. Charlie Wilson. Did it say... Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it uses nicknames or not. I might have to actually say Charles. Oh, yeah, I just don't even read it as Charles anymore. Jeez. <laughs> right. Charles Wilson. Maybe it's actually Charles Manson. Let's put that W upside down. Charlie is kind of a cool name, honestly. I kind of wish my name was Charlie. It could be a part of the phonetic alphabet. Is Charlie always Charlie Charles? Bravo. Like, if you're Charlie, your first name is Charles, right? That's short for that, right? Yeah. I know people used to go by Charles way more long ago. Yeah, I think it rains like in modern day. times. People prefer going by Charlie, it seems. Because it's just weird imagining Critical as Char Charles. You know what I mean? Instead of Charlie. Ah, right. uh, yes, Charles. That's the only reason I was clarifying about that. Just this house, it always rains? Oh, I thought it was everywhere it was raining. 
Uh, one of the future updates are gonna add randomized weather patterns. I mean, I kind of like that it's raining, though. It's kind of adds to it. Yeah, right when we walked in the front door, I heard the ghost open a door. I just saw a light flashing. Did you see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna turn this light off, just so... Oh. Okay, we got... I didn't bring the UV light, because I thought I'd die right, right away. But... Should I go get it? Uh, I'll go Should grab it. it. Alright. Oh, yep, the light's flashing in there. I kind of like the ambience noise, but I guess I could see it getting grating after a little bit of... Uh-oh. Yeah, we got some light problems. They're throwing pictures around, too. Okay, <clears throat> I'm looking through the video camera, trying to see if there's any orbs. Mm -hmm. Activity is rising. It's out of five. Uh-oh, I just heard a door open, too. Poltergeist, blind call, let's go. They threw something, let's get out of here. Yo, where the fuck are you going? Grabbing you trying to leave? Stuff? You were, like, going that way. I was like, what the hell? It looked like you were, like, yeah, leaving. I'll, uh, I'll just leave you here. Okay, I'll leave Chipotle on the couch. Uh, I don't see any UV stuff, because there would have been prints already, because I've heard a lot of activity, so I have a strong feeling we're not going to get any UV stuff. So the basement has lighter. a dank presence. I don't know, I don't know. A dank presence? It's very dank in this basement. Well, we got lighters. I, I like how these flies are like one of the most high texture thing ever in this game. You can see like their little individual legs disgusting. and stuff. When I used to work in a Starbucks, it was like there was a dump like not even a mile away. So we had like a major fly problem. It was gross. And we had these things all over the place. I remember one time I just oh, reached God. up and tried to grab a fly and I got a fly in my hand. It was awesome. But it was mostly gross, because there's that many flies in the building. Uh-oh. I turned on the garage oh, light, and all the lights went. I'm going to turn the fuse back on. Hey, what's up, Gandhi? How you doing? Do you have a crucifix on you? I do not. I thought I saw you take it. No. Oh, okay, grab one. Well, it's not in the truck either. Like, we never bought one. I thought we brought one. Uh, got two. So, it did something right here. That usually means, like, a door open. It's done something. I'll leave my photo. Oh, wait, I do have a UV light still here. Let me check. Okay, I'm starting to think that it's in the basement because if we get activity by the front door, but there's nothing else, it's probably below us. Oh, ghost riding. So we got that. Ghost riders. Okay, I'm gonna <coughs> gonna light it up real quick. <coughs> Do it up. I didn't know you were into that, Mana. Well, this is Sage. It's a whole different deal. Yeah, it gets you fucked up, man. <laughs> that actually will mess you up for life. Just one time. Why not Sage, the thermometer? not even once. I don't know, because I'm an idiot, I guess. I keep forgetting everything I'm in this game. trying to figure out what it threw over here, because that's what the EMF is telling me right now. Is that what it looks like after it's been used? It's just like darker. 
it's like right here which is what makes me think it's probably in the basement so um let me check if the sage objective was completed and then i'll can bring everything to the basement kind of looks like a big pickle Marty. I'm a dead pickle. Nice. Sage was complete. So maybe it was actually right there in the family room or whatever you call it, living room. Damn, what a shitty ghost. Making pickle Rick jokes and he doesn't even do anything. So we have ghost writing, so I'm gonna mark that down before I get killed. Alright. <laughs> Adventure of Inspector Poro. I don't know, I'm not super familiar. I know the name. And our, your sanity is already at 25. I'm thinking this might be a U ray. A U ray? Everyone always pronounces it Yuri, and then everyone giggles, but it's technically you ray You rang? <laughs> um... Okay, I see it. So, either Freezing Temp or Ghost Orb, if, if that's actually what it is. Oops. Oh, actually, I think higher difficulties make your sanity drop quicker, so that might actually be what's happening. Freezing temp, ghost orb, fingerprints? Or nothing? Uh, let me, I think freezing temp, ghost writing. Oh, right, it was right. And... Oops. Uh, yeah, ghost orb. No. But... I'm not seeing any orbs, so there's a chance that it's not that, but I'm just going to put that for now, just so I have something if I die. Yeah, because there hasn't been anything on this monitor. Okay. Um, so I guess we could check the thermometer and what else do we need? Guess spirit box. I'm gonna take a motion sensor, why not? Why not? Okay. What happens? Right when I stepped in the door, it yelled at me. It went, hey. So what I say to that is, hey, are you here? Damn it. Uh. How do you just put the damn? motion? sensor down. It won't just, like, go down. Are you here? F? I could have sworn I did that. Oh, oh God! It just He's right there. The front door. No, open it. it. No! Where's the camera? I put it in the fucking thing. I got another camera. It's, it's not very effective. Just wait over here until it leaves. I'm gonna hold the door shut. <laughs> Ma, get the camera! Uh oh! Oh no! He's getting me! Ma, get the camera! I hate that glass breaking sound. Oh, I thought he was dying. Oh, uh, we don't have the right camera here. I just had to go back into the fucking house. I thought he couldn't get me through the fucking door. What a fucking prick. The 
doors are like your best friend in this game. If you could use them effectively, oh. it will deflect all the ghosts. Yeah, the ghost's face was right in my face when it killed you. Um... I'm not sure what to guess for this one. It'd be cool if you could like possess the oh, computer. Oh, I left the camera so, like, right here on the desk. That's why. Might be. Oh wait, one of the—they're like not supposed to actually go through the doors. I didn't know that. So that is an effective way of. Okay, I'll run them in off. and get a picture of your dead body and run out. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Motion detector just went off. That's cool. I'm gonna set that up. Right in the foyer. Yeah, they really gotta let you do like something. Like let you go outside and like fuck with people or something. Or just like make noises. I don't know. Alright, zombie ghost. Are you gonna leave this place? Oh my god. From my view, your dead body, half of your body is in the bathtub and the other half is like spilling over by the toilet. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Just how it is sometimes, man. There's not much else I can do without getting killed. Come on, EMF, make some beeps. I like how there's just like cobweb everywhere. This clock is so annoying to me. It's like louder than anything in the entire truck. Why would you want that clock? I'm just gonna make an educated guess. I don't know, I'm sure there's all sorts of stuff with this game that bugs out that is not consistent either, so it's hard to nail down. Like, look at Vinny, for example. He's having this fucking siren sound every time he plays the game. It's insane. I We cannot figure it out. It's been weeks. And the developer is, it's only like a few people, so they can't really like spend time figuring out a bug for someone, you know what I mean? When it's not affecting anybody else. It's like, I can't believe that though, that's so annoying. Motion went that, that, that's again. happening to him, not that the devs aren't helping. I completely understand why they aren't. Yeah, he's still having the problem. Ghost We've tried a fucking million things. It's like every other day we try something new to get to work, and it's just not happening. I don't know. I kind of feel bad. I guess he can't hear it though, so what the fuck does it matter? I'm gonna say that it's a shade. But what do you say? Five shade? Ghost orb. EMF 5, ghost orb. I'm just gonna say that it's a shade. Shades technically only attack when people are alone, but uh, it got kind of glitchy. 
so it's very possible that it thought you were alone when it killed you. So I'm just gonna go with that. Alright. Nah, it's got nothing to do with XSplitter OBS because it happens even when it's not being streamed. It's something we it's something very dumb that we can't figure out. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. I prepared some jobs for you. Ooh, it was a demon. I'll do another one if you want, Mono, if you are up for it. Sure. That was professional too, so I got a whole bunch of experience with a multiplier. Small three bedroom single floor house with a basement. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a couple things. Roadhouse? Is that the one we just did? Uh, I think they're. All of those houses are called roadhouses. There's like Tanglewood and some other one. I have a hard time remembering the names. You gotta buy a bunch of shit. Need a flashlight. What else? I bought a crucifix. So I'll bring that with. I'll bring the motion sensor, extra thermometer. We got sixty nine bucks. Though. I can't break it now. Oh, I already had one. Damn it! Yeah, enraged bullfrog in chat. That was pretty non-aggressive for a demon. Usually professional on with a demon means they'll attack you and you walk in the front door. Damn, he and, sucks. Wait, I already had two. Uh, yeah, I don't think, game. just reading what people are saying in chat, I don't think it says um, uh, the ghost writing, I'm pretty sure, is randomized. Oh, it would no. be really cool if you could learn more about the ghosts by what they write in the book. Like, the there's a lot of thing. details like that I wish they would add that would reward people for being like extra observant. Because sometimes you'll get some vaguely Asian <laughs> looking writing and sometimes you'll just have straight up a pentagram. So it really it's hit or miss what you'll get. And I was looking up some of the origins of the names of all these types of ghosts and uh, like revenant it seems to be one of the oldest terms for what we would call a ghost these days like apparently revenant means like return in some language like french or something like that so it was like used in middle ages to describe someone who comes back after they have died i don't think i like saw it until like warcraft 3 is where i remember revenant from the first time isn't there like a, an orc unit or an undead unit or something that's called a revenant? It was like a critter, like a, um, what do you call it? I can't remember. The creep. It was just like a dude chilling. Um, and then wraith. It was hard to find the origin of the word wraith, but it seems to come from wrath. Not sure how it turned into wraith. And then jinn, J-I-N-N, -N, is like an Islamic entity not necessarily a ghost but it's meant to be like some kind of terrible spirit he's supposed to the be J -I -N -N. a jinn can be a bunch of different things uh, oni is japanese a jinn can be a bunch of different things because he can be like a actual person too being like possessed by a ghost i think it's weird it's yeah it seems to be a really open-ended term that has a lot of different possible meanings yeah i've seen a bunch of different ones for it and then, like, Banshee comes from, uh, like, Irish heritage, I'm pretty sure, where it talks about, like, a, a way that people used to mourn for the dead is that there'd be a, a designated mourning, like, M-O-U-R-N, woman that would yeah. make, like, a screaming sound to pay respect to the dead. Just so like then really people would say spirit. that. Yeah, so then it became a thing where people would start hearing the screaming even though there wasn't anyone there so they would say that it's like the a banshee is someone who pays respect to the dead by screaming or something like that 
Um, then all the rest, like Spirit, that's in here, that's pretty self-explanatory, and then... What are the other ones? Oh, Yurei is a generic Japanese term for ghost, so like Yurei is just like Spirit, and it covers a whole category of ghosts. It's like a Yurei is a Yokai, which like Yokai are just like supernatural things yep. in general, I'm pretty sure. Yokai can be yeah, like a bunch Yurei of things. Is like yeah. ghost. It's like a very broad term. I think I wish it would let you read the journal out here in the lobby, but yeah, it's so they they really had to stretch to make some of these ghost types to figure out like what's the gameplay of an oni. There's a bunch like of that. other ones they could have included, like um, like a Dullahan. That's like a Irish spirit, I think, right? Like I haven't heard of that. Someone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, this also is an anime. Oh, <laughs> one of the only anime series that I watched, uh, that I actually watched a lot of episodes of, because I was in the anime club in college. Um, was a uh, Mushishi that that was a really cool one. It was like kind of a very slow paced sort of meditative anime, but it was about this guy that visits places to address their supernatural concerns. So like each episode would be about learning about this family or this person and and what's going on in their life that's causing these disturbances and then it's his job to figure out how to talk to this ghost or whatever it is and to make it leave. So he's sort of like a Japanese anime version of Zack Bay. <laughs> uh, like even Mob Psycho is actually that's like a similar plot to that. Mob Psycho is actually really, really good. It's a great show. Mob Psycho, is it called? Yeah, you've probably seen pictures from it. It's with like the little kid with like the uh, mushroom cut, kind of. And he like looks like. Okay. And they like have to like. Oh uh, well, I guess we can go ahead and start. Shit. So I can be working on stuff. Yeah, as we, we talk well. at the same time. I'm gonna go. Let's go. I thought I had start, but I had ready up, and I was not ready. Mm. Yeah, jinns are just, like, from that part, like, from the Middle East and stuff, more than Islamic. Um, American gods. There's a important character that's a, a jinn. Who has like a really complicated character arc? I really liked his, his story. And I was just looking at chat. Um, so like, I don't know the pronunciation, but Jin, like B J I N N, I hear is different than just J I N N. Like, like Dijin is supposed to be like a, a genie like figure. Yeah. Whereas just J I N N is, they, is like kind of the general term. I think they're from the same thing though, like originally. It's like branched from the same term or something like that. I'm sure it Probably. is. Probably. Yeah, they're just branches off the same myth. Uh, Dirty Water and EMF. Margaret Johnson. Margaret. They always have, like, such fucking plain names. <clears throat> Why can't yeah, they, they be, like... Looked at, like Top 50 most common Western names or European names or something. Okay. Guess I'm not really one to talk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I looked up. Uh, what else do we even have here? Go ahead and start. EMF really. I lost everything. I have the uh, EMF with me, and I have UV and the camera. Margaret Johnson. What are you gonna say? Um. Apparently, the name Mary is the oldest name in history, like human history, that's still around in all different cultures too. It's like a weird. Well, I'm sure it has like a biblical thing, but like, it's like the name Mary even goes back to uh, like Roman times when. 
Christianity was being developed, and it was like based on that, and then other cultures adapted the name Mary in their own ways, and it's, it's like the most ancient name that's still being used to this day, apparently. Huh, I've never heard that before. But it sounds very different as it has been translated, kind of like how uh, John and Juan and Jesus apparently comes from what we know as Jesse. So like Jesus is technically Jesse, I guess. It just depends on how language adapted over time and religion influences stuff and all that. I thought the first name was, uh, was God, Mana. <laughs> well, God is, uh, the human name for an unnamed entity, allegedly. The first name was Karen. So the thing existed before there was a word for it, according to legend. Like, one of my favorite things is that the word orange existed, or the word for the fruit orange existed before the word for the color orange. So, when you say something's orange, it means that it looks like the fruit. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's, that's reasonable. I'm sure most of the colors... The primary colors are derived from, like, some kind of food or berry or some shit anyways, probably. Whoa, EMF-5 already. Right here. Alright, so that's evidence. No temps, though. Ah, uh, nine. Okay, I'm gonna grab the video camera, bring it over here. It's the still. And there's a whole article about the history of color words in other languages, because it's one of the few things where the way different languages refer to colors varies greatly across cultures. Well, yeah, it's like the idea of, like, um, when you see yellow, what if someone else sees red? You know what I mean? So how do you know that that color that you're seeing is actually... You know what I mean? Yeah, different cultures value different colors more. It was more or less pronounced throughout history and... So it could get mixed up and stuff too. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's what's funny about sci-fi and stuff too, when people like have these like... Aliens meeting each other and they like know what different colors are and stuff like it would be such a foreign concept probably to another rate like species Yeah, I'm getting EMF activity outside the house. Yeah, I got 5.2 in the house I thought I heard some footsteps upstairs. Set, up the, set up the camera to face this way because it seems to be liking this room Um, there was one culture, I don't remember which, where for a very long time they only had three, uh, color words. And everything was just derivative of those three, so like they were thinking about color theory and all that long before other cultures. So they were looking at purple as a form of red and blue without having a word for it. Right, yeah, I guess violet. Is what is violet? Is that one of the primary colors? No, it's red, green, blue, right? Yeah, I don't know what the history of violet versus purple is. I am sure someone will claim that they're very different from one another or something. But depending on like what blue you're using, it can be as dark as it sometimes. So remember to use your radio when you're talking. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that. Because I have your stream on really quiet, so I can tell when you're talking but not through the radio. <laughs> it's hard. The like the keybind for B to use the radio is so dumb, kind of. 
Yeah, I've just, in VR, uh, the mic is on all the time, so I'm used to just talking. Like, V, V makes sense, but then B, I, I mean, I know why it's like that, but I always forget to hit B. It's like a stretch, kind of. Yeah. Um, well, our setup time just ended, like, five seconds ago, and location got, activity nothing. spiked Ups a bunch. Upstairs is completely quiet. I'm hearing some creaking, but that's really it. Come back down. So, Margaret Johnson, we still need dirty water. We got some stuff on the ground here. I think that looks like they've been throwing something. Oh, I heard a footstep. Yeah, they threw a candle. They're throwing shit everywhere in here. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Also, it's like 5.2 outside. That's kind of weird. Yeah, 4.2 inside. Yeah, that tea kettle's possessed. The tea kettle is possessed. Let's see if I'll actually get points for that. Uh, let's set this up. Then I'm gonna move the camera to look down this uh, way. Oh! What the fuck? They're burping. I heard a burp. I saw that. I, I Yo, saw what the fuck? Split second. The ghost has burped on me? It's fucking disgusting. It's way of expressing that it likes you. It hits. This is gross. Oh, oh I see oh. it! I got a picture. Come on! Don't get killed. No, that was just a scare, wasn't a hunt. No temps either, just still six Celsius. Okay, what else do we have? Not getting any UV stuff. Let me check the book. 4.6 Celsius. Oh, nice. I got points for the tea kettle. It's counted as an interaction. Yeah, it was rolling. This candle's right here, too. I think you have a, a, like a cool down to when you have to get a picture of it. So I, the candle probably isn't going to give points anymore. Okay, so EMF5 for sure. Uh, motion detector just went off, even though we're both out here. Do you have the ghost journal? Is that still over here? Nah, I think I lost mine. Well, even if you die, we'll still have one. It's like a guaranteed item. So I can dual wield books, just like my EverQuest character, my necromancer. All right. Margaret, we have got a journal for you. Want to draw some some uh, brimstone symbology or whatever it is? Ooh, she just moved something else apparently. Oh no, she's right there, dude! I just saw her like take a lunge at you. Nice. The fuck? Unless it's like she's... some weird shadow shit. Maybe she's getting ready to write in the book. The book. Motion detectors. Uh, I off. just saw. Oh, something. there she is. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's, she's fucking, a spooky one. She was like right in the window. God, Ugh. she's moving a lot. That motion detector is going off like crazy. went off again. Margaret, did you write in the book? Don't get killed, Mana. I think it's inevitable at this point. Nope, no writing. No, I don't see any. I think I just saw her again. Like a second. I thought he walks in real life. He's just like about to always fall over, apparently. That's why they call him Mana. Flashlights in VR, one of the coolest things. I just love being able to hold it at any angle. 
Makes everything feel three-dimensional. Ooh. Yeah, she's just hanging out by the front door. They call him Motto because he puts all his weight in one thing. It's a very complicated childhood name. Margaret, could you leave us for a sec? Could you, uh, chill? Maybe go upstairs? Jesus, okay, now we got five. Exactly. Getting five really. way out here. It's kind of what, <clears throat> um, the Nick Cage movie. That Lovecraft story. She's gonna, like, reach through the door color and space. kill someone. It's about a color that we, that doesn't exist. Beep. Such a fucking love that idea. You write in the book yet? No. I got these really cool paints. Um, speaking of shifting colors. Oh, I do have the video camera set up facing that room. Let's see if she's done anything there. Can't wait to use them. They're really cool. Check if yeah, we got she's just any chilling. mail. It's Large Marge, man. Cool. I heard it was it's Large Marge, apparently, in the house. <laughs> it looked like her, yeah. It's kind of funny. We got Large Marge, and then you have Marge Simpson. They're not anything alike, really. I think it's the only two times I've heard Marge. She's still setting off that motion detector. What's up, Frey? How you doing? Jesus Christ, I keep dropping this fucking flashlight. Um, wondering if it's a phantom, because when I took a picture, she disappeared immediately, but it could have just been a coincidence. And ready for work, nice. EMF 5. But if it was a phantom, we would have ghost orbs and freezing temps. I'm not seeing any orbs, and it didn't look like we had any other temperature fluctuations. Uh, I guess spirit box, and I'll just hope that the crucifix doesn't need new batteries. He's okay, the man in the box. Well, yeah, that's actually like a enough Jesus juice neurological thing. thing. Like people can taste music and stuff like that. What's it called? Are you here? It's like an actual thing. Are you here? Anastasia. Oh, she wrote in the book. She can't figure out how to run again. Oh no. Uh, she doesn't know how to hold shift. To be fair, you can't really All run right, that so well in this game anyways, so I don't blame her. That should be a message to True. the devs. Someone should send that back be like, can't run, can't run, fix the game. <laughs> fix that shit. Yeah, she's, she's trying to communicate to the programmer. All right, so ghost writing, EMF five. Revenant, Shade, or Oni. So let's see, what do we got for... Oni would have to be Spirit Box. Revenant would have to be Fingerprints, which I have not seen any of. Uh-oh. I I heard something. Sure that wasn't you? I think it's just like when you go to the house. <laughs> Cause I can just go like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> This is how we communicate the ghost. Uh, she just threw the candle again. Do you have the camera on you? I think it's... Oh. Uh, could get some points for that. Mm. 
So yeah, I guess let's get a picture of the candle. Yeah, it's the same one she's been spinning around. I'm not really trying to turn it for them, but... Sounds like you're the real demon, judging by your voice. Yeah. Is it still fucked up? Is it still on? Not Oops. seen any orbs. <laughs> I didn't know I left the fucking filter on. Just gonna have to make on. an Whoops. educated guess. I didn't realize so, that. Sorry. If it was a shade, it would be ghost orb. <laughs> Demon is still on. Oni would be spirit box. Uh, I'm gonna say Oni. Up, oh, something's happening. So spirit box, and we got EMF level five, right? Yeah. Writing. Ghost writing and EMF five are hundred percent, but spirit box I'm just guessing because we'd have to be sitting in there for a while and probably get killed. Sounds about right. <clears throat> and not gonna get dirty water, but oh well. Margaret Johnson. Good riddance. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Hey, we didn't die. Oh, it was a revenant. Damn. Eh, close enough. I tried. Oh, well. Still got lots of photo points. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I think that might be the last one for me for now, though. Just, I'm gonna go rest, I think. Alright. Oh, yeah, it is pretty late. 6 a.m. here. <clears throat> Yeah, thanks for playing, Mono. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, anytime. See you. If you guys don't know uh, the Monotonous, go follow him on Twitch. Sometimes he plays video games. Sometimes. I'm thinking of doing an AI dungeon stream. Just doing spooky stories, reading the AI-generated stuff. Might be yeah, fun. it be fun if it goes well. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. See you. Bye, dude.